Welcome back to Tech Talk. My name is Daniel, and today we're going to discuss how to properly launch and load a boat by yourself. All right, there's a couple ways that you can go about doing this, but you know, the first thing I want to focus on is the importance of pulling off to the side when you get to the boat ramp. You want to make sure you're out of the way for those people who want to actually launch and load their boat and they're prepared and ready to go. So first steps when you get to the ramp, pull out of the way, and then you wanna go ahead and work on loading your boat, safety gear, and all of that equipment. And of course, don't forget your drain plug. All right, the next step after loading your boat for the day with all your safety equipment, lines, fenders, and gear, you wanna make sure you're prepared to know what side of the boat ramp you're gonna be launching on and prepare and have your lines already installed on that side. So today, we're gonna to be on the port side of the boat here, so I'm gonna go ahead and install those lines ahead of time. After installing the lines, the next step I always like to do is make sure they're really easy to get to here on the gunnels. And then of course, before I hop out of the boat, you wanna make sure the battery's on so that way you're ready to go when you're ready to launch. One final step before we hop in the truck and get ready to launch the boat, I always like to make sure our safety chain is unhooked. And then I always like to loosen the winch strap as well so that way the boat can float off when we get to the ramp. We're next up here at the ramp. So I'm gonna pull up, line us up and get ready to launch. Before hopping out of the truck, it's always important to make sure it's in park and always make sure your parking brake's on. As you can see, the importance of getting it close to the dock here makes it super easy to get in and out of the boat. Before we leave, you wanna always make sure you unclip it from the trailer. Since the batteries are already on, it makes it super easy for us to go ahead and trim our engine down, start her up, and back her up. Now that we're back at the boat ramp after a day on the water, we're gonna work on loading the boat solo. So one thing to note when you are at the ramp here, it's not as important this time to get it as close to the dock since you're gonna be loading the boat. So just wanted to keep that in mind. So now that we have the trailer in the ramp here, it's important to note when you are loading the boat on the trailer, slow and steady wins the race. No one's in a rush here. Everybody knows what you're working on. So make sure we go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead. So now that we got it loaded on the trailer, it's important to hop out and go ahead and get it winched on and secured. So now that we pulled the boat out of the ramp, it's important to uninstall your drain plug and hook up your transom straps. So now that the boat is nice and secure with the transom straps and the drain plug out, you want to make sure all your personal belongings are safe and secure for your trip back home. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and submit any questions or recommendations to the address below. We'll see you guys next time.